Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gator Scapegoat here, and I'm, once again, I'm here with Avery Law32. What up, mate? What up, dude? Okay, and so I'm here with my finalized Jogan the Spiritualist Field Control deck. God, I miss this deck. Avery knows more than anybody else how much this deck means to me. I love this deck to death. You know, <laughs> I probably annoy Avery Law32 to death with, like, the constant talk of Jogan Field Control, but I just, I love the deck, man. I just love it. Trust me, you don't annoy me. Anything that's Yu-Gi-Oh related, I'm willing to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this deck, I love this deck. It has been solid since I, since I got this finalized build. Um, I, I'm not sure. Like, I made a couple of changes to it that, since the last one. Um, I was thinking of possibly taking out a Crusader, but then it's a 19 beater, and plus I have back row, blah, blah, blah. So I had to make a lot of different decisions about the deck, but I really, I'm happy with this finalized build. I think this is going to be the final, this is probably going to be the, no, this is the final build for uh, March 2012, or, or 2013. 2012? What are you smoking, dude? Uh, that's yeah. nobody's business. It's it's you a YouTube video. you your old ganja. <laughs> no, the only person that that's talking about drugs in his YouTube videos is Soldier Boy, and he's not even a rapper. Without any further stalling for time, let's get into the deck profile. So yeah, 3 Dragon the Spiritualist, this card just gives the finger to E-Dragons. Um, <laughs> 3 Crusader of Endemion, I love this card. He's just like, he's like, he, look at him, man. He's like a freaking suit of armor. He's like, yeah, come at me, bro. I'm going to freaking beat, beat you down. Okay, and then you play your three break of the Magical Warrior, MST of the deck. I was originally maining MST. I decided to take him out, though. I might side them. I'm not sure. My side deck is really a joke. I wasn't really, like, there aren't very many cards in the side deck that are actually meant for siding. So, you play your... Self-destruct button. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no self-destruct button, believe me. Or a Rick roll card. Oh, God. Anyway, he played two Malefic Stardust. It's to protect. It's twenty five hundred beater and also protects Seeker Village. Uh, it's two Malefic Cyber and it's just strictly a beater. Um, you play two TK and then two Valor. Valor, you or Valor is good, so you're able to um, what do you call it? So you're able to, to so you're able to sink or summon. Okay, so that's it for the monsters. Under the spells, you play your three Seeker Village of the Spellcasters. I really have to explain that. I mean, really. Yes. Play. <laughs> <laughs> if you control no spellcasters and your opponent does not, or if you control spellcasters and your opponent does not, your opponent can't play spell cards. Yeah, come at me. <laughs> so it basically says, unless you're a spell player, I could give a damn rat's ass about your spells. Pretty much. Uh, you play two terraforming. A lot of people know, well, mainly a relative thirty-two and a couple of other players. Like they know that I that um, usually whenever it comes to to field spells, I always try and play two terraforming. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's Gravekeepers, in which case, you know, that's not really an option. Um, but yeah, ter two terraforming helps get Secret Village to the field. Um, two Pot of Duality with Pot of Greed in, in the background. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which, by the way, that's another video that we're going to be making here soon. A discussion on why Pot of Greed should be put at one. Banned. No. So Banned. We'll, we'll get we'll get to that. So then you play Dark Hole and Reborn. I don't play Heavy in this deck. Too much back row and three freaking... Three field spells. Like, really? You're going to think about... <laughs> Are you even going to think about playing Heavy Storm in the deck? How of the traps you play? One god says no. You play three save zone. I love this card. Th 30 bucks. Good good god. Um, you play two skill drain. Um, I was Aaron, and then you side the third. Um, it's a little bit of clog at, at two. But uh, then you have decks like... Uh, I don't know. Name whatever deck you want. You know, the, Name any deck that, that gets hurt by skill drain. And you just side the third and... Durr. Uh, you play two bottomless, or like one of my favorite things to do is skill drains. Like a um, person like tries to, like I have cyber end on the field or something like that, and I don't have a spellcaster. I, I happen to not have a spellcaster. They try to MST uh, secret village, not just chain save or skill drain, so it stays on the field. So you basically you just waste it. Well, in a sense, you waste an MST. Whatever. You play two bottomless, two Phoenix chain, two DP, two mirror force, and a Tory. You side the uh, you side the two starlights. On um, the extra deck, you play the two of each. You play the basic rank threes. Play Zemmain, Leviathan, Asagom. Then for the rank fours, you play. Excuse me. You play Abyss Dweller. You play Utopia, Pappy, and you play Maestroke. Then for the synchros, you play basic synchros, the ones you can actually make. You play Armory Arm, Cataster, Guy Knight, and Mistworm. <laughs> I've made it with Mistworm before. It is so much fun to play to play with people when they're like. Oh, you! I, he has that beater. That sucks. Oh no, he just summoned Valor. He plays Mistworm on me. That sucks even more. <laughs> so now onto the side deck. The only cards you actually side in currently are uh, Starlight Roads, three Spies to keep spellcasters on the board to prevent your opponent from playing spells, um, the Skill Drain, and possibly Soul Rope. I like Soul Rope a lot. Um, when you uh, for those of you Soul, look, Soul Rope, here's what happens. It's it. I play three of them on my side deck. It might just be two. I'm not sure. When you, a monster you control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, except during the exp, oh, frick. 
Except during the damage step, pay a thousand life points and special summon a level four lower monster from your deck. So like except if you except during the damage step. Yeah, I mean there's still like it's for Neat. it's for yeah, I mean it's for dark hole, it's for Grapha, it's stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's still, it's not a bad card in theory. And then the, the, the six, like, troll cards that I don't even, I'll, I probably won't play my set deck ever, um, are specifically for chain burn players. Because when people play chain burn, because I've had to deal with it plenty of times on DN, I side these two in. I side in Spell of Pain. Anybody remembers that from the original anime? Yeah, uh, give yourself a pat on the back. Mm -hmm. Anybody remember Spell of Pain, Avery? Not really, no, it's but a, I, I know that my dad's had to deal with that card because he used nothing but chain burn. A, a, and, uh, it's he's a, taking the format off because of E-Dragons with your Eradicator. Oh he, he can tell you right now that that card just sucks. Spell of Pain is a quick play spell card. Activate only when an effect is activated that would inflict effect damage to you. Switch the effect damage to your opponent instead. The only uh, bad so, thing about that card against Chamber is that it only works for one effect. So if, if, uh, if they could just desert, nope. and you're going to take 25, nope. then you go Spell of Pain. Oh, wait, it works for all of it? Yeah. That's what I hear. I it just worked for one card. From what I hear is that if you chain it all together, it's still effect damage. It doesn't say, like, for every oh, card. Yeah, you do it all together. Like, if they go yeah. triple justice earth and they need to spell paint out the ass. I've literally they beaten... Then they'll take all that damage. I've literally beaten somebody... Or, I've beaten chamber players before when they played, when they played like, you know, triple justice desserts, double secret barrel or whatever, and I just chain spell of pain. They're like, seriously, dude, who plays that card? Oh, my God. And then another card that's like... It's not even a good card. It's just a card I play just because it's fun. Uh, Rainbow Life. Discard a card. Uh -huh. Discard a card until the end of this turn. Whatever uh, amount of damage you would take, you gain that amount instead. So it's kind of like an enchanted javelin. Pretty much, but it's only for effect damage. So chain, seek, triple secret barrel, and double, um, and double, uh, triple secret barrel, and uh, double just desserts. Okay, You're chain. Dirty. It's like chain Rainbow Life. It's like yeah, You're come officially at me. dirty. I know it's fun though. You need a bath. So the, here, like here, just I'll say this to chamber players that think, "Wow, this is cheap." The it may sound cheap to you, but the one thing that I know is that being extremely dirty and being a slimy, you know, just genuinely, wow, that's just cheap player. It is works. If you run chamber. It no, it just it works. So that's why I play cards like Sp Rainbow Life and Spell of Pain because it works. <laughs> I just tell chamber and player straight up, look, you need to run a different deck because this is trash. Yeah, for, <laughs> that's just, I've actually said that to a chamber and player. I've, I I've, remember, I remember one time. Uh, it was actually one of my friends, so he didn't really care. He thought it was funny, but um, we were at a locals or something like that, and he was playing chamber, and I beat him just straight up. I two hooked him because I use, I know how to beat chamber and inside now. I know how to play it better than anyone else. Um, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm just saying. Um, mm -hmm. But I told him straight up. I said. Dude, you really need to run something else. Because number one, that's a piss off deck. Number two, you need to get something better instead of trash. That's thirty dollars. And he just laughed. He's like, he's like, dude, it is good. It's it's not. Um, he he said it's like going out of the crowd or something like that. No, like, no, no. Like, the meta decks won't expect it. I'm like, are you out of your mind? The meta decks can easily beat that. That's why they don't have to care about it. No, Jogan field control is what people don't expect, and it's actually a good deck that takes skill, whereas Chain Burn is not. It's that deck that says, look at me, I can masturbate in step five. <laughs> That's Exodia, too. Uh, this is so ironic coming from an anti-meta lockdown Exodia player, but whatever, that's totally different. Good lord, my head is spinning. <laughs> yeah. Just okay. thinking of the possibilities. Yeah. But like, okay, chain three just desserts, chain two secret barrel, I win, chain spell of pain, you bastard. Oh, I literally, I, I'm, I'll never forget this. I, had, I had a secret village on the field. I had five back row. I had two Thunder Kings, a Cyberend, a Stardust, and a God, does it really get more stunning than that? And a no, and a Jalgen on the field. And then the guy tries to play uh, triple secret barrel on me, and I just chain spell of pain. God, you are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I could not stop laughing because the guy was like, "Are you serious?" Because it was like I don't even know how much damage it was, but he, but I ended up beating him for it. I was just sitting there. I could not. I could. I couldn't breathe. I was laughing so hard. Oh my god. So yes, I I love Spell of Pain and I love Rainbow Life, but I mean like say, Spell of Pain more. But they're both awesome cards. So yeah, that is my finalized Jogan Field Control deck. And it only took me what freaking two months to find a solid build for it. But um, decks like this take time, so I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Check out my channel, too. Uh, subscribe to Avery, subscribe to me. Until next time, I'm Gage Skidgood. He's Avery Lauder32, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Deuces.